Okay, welcome back. We're back on the air. Uh, here is chapter three, chapter four, exercise eight, uh, square tester and square.java. Okay, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to write a class that finds the area perimeter and diagonal of a square. All right, so we're going to construct a square object and uh, print out, do a get area, get perimeter, get diagonal, do a whole bunch of accesses, constructors, and fun stuff. I'm going to use scanner in my tester here for input. And so I'm going to have to import stuff. Okay, so import java.util.scanner. So in addition to constructing a square object, I'm going to construct a scanner object. How about scanner foo equals new scanner, just like last time, system.in, uh, in, that is. Okay. And then we'll prompt the user for some input. So system dot out dot print line. And all we need to know is this, the length of one side of the square. So enter the side length of square, something like that. And you know what? Maybe I'll just make this a print so that the input stays in one line when I use the scanner. All right. And so let's input stuff. We're going to use foo, that next double, and we're going to capture that in a double, say, s for side. So double s equals foo dot next double. All right. All right. So let's construct a square. How about square bar equals new square with that side s? Okay, let's just print out some stuff. The perimeter, the area, and the diagonal. Okay. So system dot out dot print line perimeter equals bar dot get perimeter. That's just an accessor. And I'm gonna have uh, three more outputs like that, one for area, one for diagonal. So just copy this, and this will be area. Oops. And the diagonal of the square. And that should do it. Okay, so let's fill in the class. All right, uh, what do we do to construct a square? We'll look at the constructor. We're just uh, storing the parameter s. Okay, so how about we do, let's use the this operator. How about this dot s equals the inputted s? So this dot s is my instance field, private. I guess we made it a double, s. Okay, so if you know s, this s is this s, that's the input. This s is this s is the, what we call a naughty bit, the private part of the class, the instance field. All right, so how to get the perimeter if you know the side? Return four times the side, right? Ta-da. Okay, how to get the area? Well, return, and we're using the math, the static math class here, so how about math.pow of s comma two, s squared? Sounds good to me. And how to get the diagonal? We're going to return. Notice there's no mutators here. Just a bunch of returns after the constructor. Now, how to get the diagonal? Well, it's the it's like Pythagoras. If you draw the diagonal of the square, that's the hypotenuse of a right triangle whose ba uh, whose legs are s. They're each of them s. So if you do Pythagoras, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The diagonal squared is s squared plus s squared. Okay, so that's what we want. I want math dot squirt, the square root of um, the, the diagonal squared, of math dot uh, pow of s comma 2. Now I want to add that to itself. So how about times 2? Same thing. Okay? Or if you think about it, if you square root the square of s, you get the absolute value of s, but s is the side of a square, so you just get s times the square root of 2. You could get away with this. How about this? Square root of 2 times s. s times red 2. Same thing. 
All right, let's save that. And let's test all this stuff out. All right, let's going to shell out. And shush in. Where's my, ooh, what's that? Where's my shush? Do I have a shush in here? Let me shush into here. Shush into here. APCS period seven. Okay. So I'm sorry. CD. CD. Um, APCS underscore 2009, 2010, period seven. Now what do we got? Chapter four. CD. Chapter four. Now what do we got? Exercise eight. CD. C four X eight. Now what do we got? Yeah, I already tried this before, so I have the class files here, but I'm going to redo it. So Java C uh, square tester dot Java. Let's see, what did we mess up? And the server is slow today. Ooh, what did I do? Oh, wow, what the heck did I do? I did something weird in my tester. Whoops. Yeah, I made, I did that on purpose. See? Okay, that goes there. And that goes there. Sorry, a little typo there. Save that. Whoops, got a little problem saving. My network is slow today. There it goes. All right, try that again. All righty. Now we got it. Okay. And let's Java the dot class file, which you do this way from the command line. All right, so if the side of the square is, um, I don't know, two. The perimeter is 8, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. The area is 4, 2 times 2. And the diagonal is 2 times rad 2, which is 2 times 1.4 something, so 2.8 something. Perfect. Very nice. All right. That's it for today. So there's our tester in full glory. And there's our class. And here's our uh, Java doc. We can probably run Java doc on this. Um, why don't we? Okay, here we go. How about we Java doc the square class? Let's see what we get. Okay, then if we go back to here, we should see our documentation. There it is, and there's the square class. Okay, so it has a constructor called square, it takes in a parameter s. It has uh, three accessors, get area, get diagonal, get perimeter. And here's some more details on what goes on. Okay, it's a constructor with a parameter that's in, um, it's an accessor that returns the perimeter, an accessor returns the area, accessor returns the diagonal, and there's your Java doc. And you can look at different views, but that's basically it. Okay, I think that's enough for YouTube today. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. See you later. Bye-bye.